today I can't believe the attendance, the crowd, it was it was jam-packed in here, sell out. You know, we need a bigger arena to host this event next time. You know, we really feel that we've got something good to be proud of here in, in Wales with Welsh futsal. And I'm sure that with a little bit more time we can be successful. Difficult one that was a uh, pretty exciting, uh, enthralling game, but uh, so bitterly disappointing at the end. I played so well in patches. Went 1-0 into the lead, should have maybe gone 2-0 with a, a great chance. It doesn't go in and we go in at half-time 1-1 and then uh, unfortunately a frustrating second half. And we're so close, you know, the players are so passionate and so determined and so have so much belief that we're right on the cusp, that we're just making those little fine mistakes that are the difference. And in futsal, the bigger score lines doesn't really reflect because it's so close and, and so end-to-end -end that you can, you can score two, three, four goals in a couple of minutes like we did to come back from. 7-4 is a tough one to take. But we dust ourselves down and we're, uh, we believe that we're getting close and we're getting, getting uh, um, sort of doing the right things and uh, we'll get there very soon. If you think that that was our 12th international, uh, England have over 80, they have a, a budget four times bigger than ours, they have a player base that is huge compared to ours. We have, we have one season of experience at a, a domestic level. We've got some great structures in place in a short space of time and, and yeah, it's just those, those, those sort of very fine margins. We're so close and, and hopefully with a bit more time a few more experiences, we'll get those results that, uh, that the players and the team deserve.